The continuous rain is making it a messy and wet rush hour mm. for commuters. Oh yeah, Carity on News Channel 13. Scott Harrison is live to show us what drivers are dealing with. Scott, I just saw a huge splash behind you there. Yeah, it's been pretty much like this all day. This is a low-lying area along Mark Shuffle Road, and it's always prone to flooding, especially when, when we get the kind of rain we've been getting today. And we're seeing that flooding here now as it still continues. Now, the water isn't as high as it was this morning as we showed you when our Riley Carroll was here, but it's still creating challenges for northbound drivers as they get splashed by southbound drivers where most of the water is. Now let's take it a video to show you about another busy road that's still being affected tonight. That's Black Forest Road between Woodman and Cowpoke Roads. That's around a mile long stretch. Runoff from a nearby housing development flooded the Black Forest intersection at Balmer Road and also part of the construction zone where Black Forest Road is being widened. A frustrating situation for drivers who have to detour. Like, luckily, I'm not in the major traffic patterns of, of school drop off and pick off normal hours. Um, but but it's pretty difficult to just get to my kids. I'm glad I don't have an emergency. Now, drivers are forced to use Mark Shuffle Road or Powers Boulevard as detours. And those routes are already congested with traffic, especially in rainy weather. A construction foreman says that section of Black Forest Road will remain closed until tomorrow morning, when hopefully the rain and the flooding will end. Now, back here at Mark Shuffle Road near North Carefree, there are road signs on each side of the road alerting people that this is a high water area. So at least drivers have had some warning. We are live on the eastern border of Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.